Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Just got back from work. I gotta say, we're we're in some sort of crazy heat wave. It is, it is hot. I live, if you didn't know, in New Jersey. It was like 95 degrees out today. It was, it was crazy. It was too hot. It was too hot. I did not have a fun day overall, but it was, it, it was fine. Um... But man, I'm drained, and I and I think I said in the last video that I was hopefully gonna do a stream today. I think I'm doing a stream tomorrow instead. I'm sorry, but uh, you listen. You know how it is. You know how you know how dogs be and all that. So uh, yeah, stream tomorrow probably. Almost almost certainly for real for real. Now uh, spoilers for last video. We lost. Wah wah. Unfortunate. But uh, hopefully today's will be a little bit different. They keep showing me magical. I'm gonna keep playing magical. It, ha it has been overall, I think, pretty decent. Ooh, and we have a house cat start here too. That's pretty interesting. Um, I will say, I'm a little bit scared about taking like a, an ad fanatic. Three three middle D levels seems pretty scary too. I don't love that. On a magical team, expensive spell seems pretty bad. Stone rain also seems miserable too. Although we do have, oh no, for some reason I thought we had the one that had the uh, the one heal cleanse on them. We do not have that character here. Um, yeah, this looks pretty bad overall. Um, how would we how would we get to eleven curse points? We might have to reroll this no matter what because I don't see, I don't see us getting to eleven curse points here very easily. Monster Regen two seems miserable. Seems like a really bad curse. That's all, including bosses, that's all monsters that have regen to. That seems like a nightmare for five points. Yeah, I think no matter what we try to do here, even though I love House Cat, I think this has got to be a reroll. Flex is a little interesting, but a little unreliable. I'm just going to go for our basic team here. Take the basic team. I don't hate that. Uh, hmm. Add Zombie seems like a nightmare for the early game, but if we can make it through the early game, it doesn't seem too bad. 11 to 20 add ghost seems like a nightmare for late game. Mundane. All replace all mana gain size with damage size. Retain the original pips and keywords. We could just I mean like it's not terrible on Meddler. We can just take mundane and just not focus on magic then, I suppose, but that seems kind of whack. I don't know. See, I, I bet this is worse than it actually looks, is my, is my is my theory here on Mundane. Uh, Spider Soul. We could go more defensive with Spider Soul. I don't hate that. Sickly usually is a pretty free p one point of curse. So I'll take that. Rush getting his random items is kind of iffy. We're at four points. I kind of don't hate this and then maybe adding a Soodle. But the problem is whenever pseudo rolls really well and we're not killing someone turn one, it's really bad. Hold on. I kind of, on this team, I don't hate slippery dice. and Maybe maybe we do go mundane. We can go monster rights instead. You know, let's try this. Let's try this, actually. Let's take a bunch of tiny curses here. I think I think monster rights usually isn't too bad. Spider soul, we just have to not kill on turn one. I think we can make this work. And you know what? They're not killing us with turn one, so this is pretty good. This is pretty not bad. Well, it does suck to not kill here, because we do just have uh, a pretty easy lethal on the thorns. It's it's a little tragic, but that's fine. Let's roll a little bit better. Oh, oh, oh we can't. No, honestly, just lock it all. If we have the lock, I'll lock here. This does not look too bad, and we'll just we'll just pass the turn here, actually. But maybe we put a you know what, we put a burst on hoarder so we can kill the thorn next turn. Okay, spider soul no longer in effect. There we go, hoarder. Oh, you know what? Lock it all in. There we go. Good first combat. Ooh, this combat is gonna be very annoying to not kill anyone. Uh, pilgrim doesn't look too bad here though. I'll take pilgrim on this team. With meddler with the pain size, it should be pretty useful. He's making bones. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take the mana gain. Oh, I can't. I forgot I can't lock. I'll roll again. 
Ooh, I will definitely lock this. There we go. Great turn. Great turn. Put this here, probably. Unfortunately, the Gardener a little bit not as good of a roll. That's okay. And we'll put a burst on, on Rat here. We'll start getting ready to kill next turn, I think. Just playing around, playing around that damn, that damn spider soul. And you know what? In in theory, if we really need to, we can just kill them. We can just commit to doing some murders if it really comes down to it. Okay, we roll again. This is a good enough turn for me, I think. Kill here. Who's actually you're, you're targeting? Okay, you know what? We slay this bone so the archer dies to the collateral. I think we just burst this rat down too. Stun, heal, heal. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, I guess we could do this actually. Technically a little more efficient. Okay, whatever. We should win from this position. It would be a little bit weird if we didn't. I think. No, just, just lock this all in here, man. It is. I, I will say, slippery dice. The worst thing about it is how annoying it is to select the dice. Cause I, I just have the muscle memory of just hitting everything one by one. But the fact that it like it stops you from doing it is just is just killing me. But uh, whatever, it's fine. I'll hopefully by the end get the hang of it. Uh, Ballast song doesn't seem too bad to me. I think this is probably better than the uh, the guilty side on average. Obviously, it varies fight by fight. And I think actually considering considering the, the what's it called here? Considering the uh, spider soul, it's actually really nice for for on the dabble here for turn one to get some chip damage in but not actually kill anyone, hopefully. So, seems pretty decent. Uh, I don't hate settling on these here. I think we just take this instead and roll, roll the rest of them. Uh, I'll settle here. Let's go big. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't like this. I don't, I don't hate this line whatsoever. This is pretty nice. Uh, let's hit here. Let's get this bone prepped for death, I think. And let's burst the board down here too. That way we're very much ready to uh, slay him next turn, which gets which bypasses the uh, the stone health. As long as Dabble doesn't battle a song into the board, we should be fine. Okay, let's look at things for a moment. First of all, we get you off sickly here, which is nice. I said before, this is pretty cool. We can burst you. Can't get the kill on Goblin, so we have to actually have to do is is this, which is a little annoying, but it gets the job done. It's fine. And we'll put like a hemlock here on Goblin, probably. A pretty good turn, pretty good turn. Uh, we'll just settle for this. I think this should be lethal. Yep. Oh, it's not lethal actually. I lied. Well, in that case, hold on. Oh wait, we can we can slay you. Never mind. It, it is lethal. I lied again. It was lethal the whole time. Cool. Uh, I'll take a soldier here over Evoker. Evoker way too RNG dependent, especially with slippery dice here. Soldier should give us some pretty consistent value. I like seeing him here. Good enough for sure. Um. Oh, this is actually just a keep here. This is a great turn for us. Put this here. Just do a little chipping. Definitely hemlock the alpha. We can get like a one damage hit off of Dabble here. We can slay the wolf, which is pretty nice too. It's not a super high priority. Let me just we just hold this. You do this into this here. Although at that point you're not even taking damage. Hold on. We definitely do this. Kill you. So it's the same end result here. Shield versus Deathify does the exact same thing. So, I think I want to, I have to, I have to, ah, fuck. I have to keep something. Slippery dice and all that. You know, I'll roll the, the metal or two, it's fine. Good, good enough, I suppose. I'm not gonna metal again here. I think I will just burst and pass. Okay, pretty. Oh, we have we have the alpha summoning this turn, which is very not good. But ultimately, it's not too bad. 
We could do better. Definitely keep this. Definitely keep this. I think we roll the rest of you. Okay. It's fine. We get this done here. Okay, this done actually makes this extremely worthwhile. Very cool. And we should be able to kill you without you summoning. There we go. Very good. Keep it all. I'm never going to get the muscle memory for not just clicking all the dice. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen today. Uh, Sure, this is fine on Pilgrim. I'm going to get a couple random saves in there with his death defy and stuff like that. Seems worth it. There we go. You know what? This is actually a great, a great opening turn. Very happy with how this is playing out. We can just kill one of you, actually, I'm not realizing. You know what? I think we... Hmm. I think we kill you. Could go Hemlock into Slay, but Burst is just more efficient. I forgot about Spider Soul. Okay, well, we'll do it this way then. That's fine. And Spider, Spider Soul, Soul is actually a pretty scary curse. I'm kind of not realizing it. Where's oh I already used hemlock. I was like, where's my hemlock? I was gonna say we can get a, we can get an overkill here. But uh, we can also just kill normally. Faye versus Jester. I kind of dislike both of you. If I'm being honest on this team, they don't seem that good either way. Um I guess I guess I'm, just, I'm ready to get rid of Je uh Meddler at this point, but you know what? We can just go for a random instead here. I think it's not too bad. You know what? That is a much better character for us. Very happy to see the vampire here. Okay, gonna take this for sure. Taking this for sure. I think I rolled these three here. Okay. I'll, I'll settle for now. One thing we have to do is kill this war chief. We can't kill the war chief. I forgot about how this works. Let's chip the shade down. Oh, we're getting so weakened, though, too. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Check this out. Actually, extremely... I, I Devdify? Amazing now, actually. Uh, this is going to be incredibly useful for us, I think. So that's cool. Soldier getting stoned for one shouldn't be too big of a deal. Keeping Meddler off, uh, only one HP left is really nice too because it means that they don't die to sickly. They hit a cantrip. Overall, this looks pretty nice. Now, Meddler is getting their ass beaten this turn. It, it might just be a lost cause here. We're going to look for a Death Defy, hopefully. But this does save him, I think. Uh... You know what? We should do this. That is a little bit more efficient. Okay. Looks pretty good. Dude, I, I am I'm now just realizing the sickness of the uh, Death Defy uh, Spider Soul, uh, whatever it's called. What's this curse called again? Shit. Spider Soul. Realizing that, that that inherent synergy is actually really cool, I feel like. Let's do this in this slay here. Kill you up top. Uh, Fountain, can you just run? Oh, we can just kill you. Okay, there we go. That, that works. Very cool. Abacus, pretty good item. Pretty good item here. We can do... Oh my god, we can do this. How sick is that? Okay. Meddler actually goaded now. I feel like if you just get rid of one of Meddler's bone size, they become actually a genuinely uh, incredibly strong character. That's pretty cool. I'll take this stun here. That looks pretty good. Or actually, I'll roll it if, if they're making me roll it. Okay, this is fine. So no, no kills this turn. Uh, probably, probably stun the quartz here, I think. Oh, you know what's annoying is that we did hit the quartz with the cantrip. So now it doesn't die instantly to the barrel hit. Ah, whatever. It's fine. We just have the weakness, so it dies to the hit this turn. Pilgrim also takes that weaken really well, which is nice, too. I do not hate that. I guess, you know, I guess we can do this. Just fine. Let me do this. Um, doesn't really matter where this goes too much. Should have a pretty easy lethal this turn. Yeah. Cool. 
Okay. Babel versus Sparky. We have a lot of blue generation. So I don't hate taking Sparky here. But Dabble is also a really nice consistent character on this team. And with the with the upgrade to Meddler with the, the Abacus Battle Song play, I think I want to keep Meddler around a little bit longer. They seem pretty good right now. So I, I think it's a Dabble pickup here. But uh, Sparky good on this team too, don't get me wrong. Would be a pretty solid pick as well. Man, I don't want to reroll here. It sucks that Vampire miss, but I think this turn is just a little too much to give up right now. This feels too strong to me. I think that's like the the, the, the thing about slippery dice is is you know obviously knowing when to call it, right? It can be a little tricky sometimes, but I think I think this was like the best time to call it. Okay, that should be a pretty good turn. We put this, I guess, here. Put this We're gonna kill Gaitha actually, so Dabble doesn't actually need the shields too much this turn. Let's put it on Vampire. I figure out how to kill Gaitha. I guess he just burst. I guess we put, I guess we put, we put the shield on, on Metaler, I guess, then, actually. Hold on. Now that we're killing Magrat this turn. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, Agnes still doing the cleave attack. Very unfortunate, because I feel like this is like your weakest attack, especially because you have double double wolf summons if you just roll one of those sides. Anyway. Pretty easy fight. Up dog, pretty bad item. But uh it's fine on vampire, it's fine on soldier. These are okay. To put it on vampire because potentially bonus healing. Take this, I'll take this, roll the rest here. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Take this, take this, roll the rest. I'll settle for this this turn. That looks pretty good. Um, again, no killing. I guess we can make someone run away though, huh? Although it is really bad to do this because then the meddler is getting killed by the imp. Oh, no, we don't need to do it. Okay, we can do this. That gets us there. Okay. Uh, let's hit, like, here and here. Should be pretty good. Okay. Now, this is a little risky. If Meddler hits any of these cantrips next turn, they die. Uh, but I think it's worth the risk here. And if Meddler dies, it's not that big, it's not that big of a deal. It's whatever. Just don't hit a cantrip. Oh, he doesn't... I'm sorry, why do you not have Sickly? Oh, it's because you're not getting targeted. I forgot how I forgot how the one-point Sickly curse works. When, it, when it's the two-point Sickly version, it's just being at one HP. On one-point Sickly curse, it's one HP and being killed this turn. So someone has to target you. He's just a little bit lucky they didn't get targeted. Right, let's do this. Let's do... This into this here. And just put this here. Okay. He runs away. Very cool. Uh, oh, I do not hate Quicksilver, but it's not that good on this team. And it's, it's a lot adding to this combat. We don't have a great way of dealing, dealing with illusions here, especially with Spider Soul. This is definitely a decline. I like Fiend for the illusions specifically, but that's pretty short-term thinking. I think Glacia would be better overall on this team. Especially because we can maybe stop the Grave from double summoning next turn, in theory. That could be pretty useful. You know what? Look at that. Boom. Battle Song, pretty much likely to have value no matter what our what our team is. So that's pretty cool. Put this here. That does do four damage to a carry if it rolls that side, which is pretty nice. Okay. Uh, I think that the soldier is not long for this world here, honestly. Honestly, let's, let's lock, lock all this in for a moment. Soldier's taking big hits here. We have no real way to... All, what sucks about this is we're also just getting, like, really weakened. The illusions with Spider Soul are causing big issues. I th You know what I think the, the solution might be here? I'm going to keep you. I'm going to keep, I think, you. Uh, honestly, if we can roll the Death Defy here, this turn... This, this combat is just free. I'm 
Okay, no no such luck, unfortunate. But we did get a pretty good roll here with uh, the the stun. You can do like this into this here. Was this not? Oh, it's less HP. Why well, I think it was more. I'm stupid. Okay, well either way, we're gonna be extremely weakened here. We also just can't even chill the grave this turn, which sucks. So he's gonna summon a bone. Although the bones do a pretty good job of uh, of of killing enemies for me, so that's not too bad. When they when they die, they kill the illusions. Although the way that it, it was placed, unfortunately, not not so lucky. Okay, as it stands, we do survive this turn. Looking for a stun, I think, on Pilgrim. And part of me thinks I should maybe just settle for the cantrip here, but we can roll for a, a, a damage side instead. Okay, take the stun. One more roll. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, who's targeting you? Oh, definitely. Definitely stun here. Uh, man. The bones are annoying, but we have to kill these guys that are weakening. Especially the one that's weakening for two here. Yeah. Play it that way. We'll be we'll be fine, I'm pretty sure, this combat. The the carriers are just dying to poison. We're working on the illusions here. We'll be we'll get there eventually. This is a little unlucky. This is actually a really good turn for us. Um I think we need to kill people. That looks pretty good. Killing here looks pretty good. Unfortunately, I think we have to let Glacia go here, unfortunately. I think we have to... Oh, you're some, you, you rolled the summon too, so that's so unfortunate. Yeah, I think we have to do it this way. Luckily, we're not super weak in this turn, and I think we can kind of just... Uh, figure it out from here. Though, you guys all rolling defense is really bad this turn. I'm going to keep these and I think roll these two. Okay. Let's see if this is enough. Not really. We survived the turn, though. But god, these guys are really pestering me. It is annoying. Okay, the carrier's finally dying just to poison. Tragic. Can I somehow save you, Dabbler, instead here? No, you're dying. You're, you're sickly. You're poisoned. Yeah, it's just not. It's not happening. Okay. Are there any other luck? Can we do like this, maybe somehow. Is this somehow a workable solution for us here? Can we do like kill here. This is a, this is a little riskier. But I honestly think that we can win from this position. And not lose Dabbler, hopefully. We can keep just getting mana and infusing. Okay, well that's not great. Try again. Oof. Okay, maybe this was... You know what? I took a risk and it did not pay off here. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, but I think I think we'll survive still. There we go. Okay. Topsy turvy. They keep showing me this damn topsy turvy dude. It doesn't do anything. I'm afraid that it will do something, so I'm gonna decline still. Random tier four, tier six. Sure. What do you got for me, game? Honestly, glass blade does not look too bad here. I think we can maybe put it on. It's pretty good on Vampire instead of the Ballast Song. I think Vampire is pretty unlikely to die, which is pretty cool. Um, the problem is that Ball. I think the Ballast Song just goes in the in the wayside. Then, unfortunate. Okay, Soldier getting his ass beat here. We can kind of save him though. I think. Hold on. We do like this. Hit the shade. Yeah, we can we can keep you alive, which is pretty good. We can like pseudo we can like freeze the pseudo here. Yeah, soldier lives. 
Doesn't seem too bad. Wasting the chill there is very annoying, obviously, especially because his Wiz is now summoning three bones. But we'll make it through, hopefully. Try again. Okay, we kill the shade. Deathify on Glacia here, I think. But well, we can actually just, uh... First. Yeah, whatever. Making three bones, obviously very annoying here. This is a pretty good roll, though. Um... We're gonna do a little bit of infusing here, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we can do another infusion. Death the on Soldier this turn. You're summoning three more bones, huh? Okay, in that case, hold on, we need to take a more aggressive line. I didn't realize how much this guy was trying to fuck us here. Oh, but we hold on. We need to yeah. We need to bring back all the infusions. We need to we need to stun the 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 whiz. It sucks. We got to lose Glacia here. We cannot let the whiz do that. If he does that, the the fight's over. I'm pretty sure. Uh, overdog not doing shit today. Stun pretty good this turn, actually, because we get to do this so that Wiz can actually attack normally. Looks like Dabble's eating shit, though. So with that in mind, I'll take this. Hmm. I want to reroll. You know what? I'll keep this and I'll reroll this. If we, if we whiff on the attack, it's not good, but it's not the end of the world. Maybe, maybe get something better out of Dabbler here, hopefully. Hey, well, this is a better attack, so that's pretty cool. Get a little bit extra damage on the Sudal. Tragically, <laughs> Dabbler dies here. But... As long as we don't roll just abysmally here, we should be okay. Yeah, this is, this is enough. We get the hit, we get the burst, we get the stun the Wiz here. Okay. Scary fight. We make it through, though. Very neat. Still two characters down, though, HP, which is annoying. Dabbler counts as a magic character, so soldiers possess. A soldier is a bad character to be, to be possessed, because it's really annoying when we roll these uh, these shield attacks here. I, oh man, I think I'm supposed to take Fate here. Fate's a very strong red character. I don't think we want to get, and then, uh, Leader sucks, by the way, too. I think we especially don't want to give Wendigo control of a tier 3 yellow, even though it is one of the worst ones. It's still very bad for us. I wonder how duplicate works with uh, being possessed. I assume we all get possessed duplicate side, which is miserable. So, yeah. That'll be funny if we ever hit that. Um, I think we still play it like this here. Like part of me, this is, I think, just better than three damage. One damage spread out across two characters. One against your will, one on a willing target. I think that's better. Not by too much, though. Obviously, still pretty bad. And Dabble getting sliced here is not good news. Oh, we have Spider Soul, too. Fuck. Okay, well. Yeah, Dab Dabbler is just dying. Yeah, I guess Dabble can just do this, right? Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Uh, we will pass the turn, then. Oh, mandatory dice, of course. Sorry. Fate being petrified, obviously not very good here, too. But nothing we can do about it. We can already stun Wendigo, which is pretty nice here. I am kind of realizing we have no actual way of killing this thorn, though. Other than Fate rolling this side, which we can't because it's been petrified. So that is not good news. Uh, I guess just hit yourself, bud. So we're going to have to kill Wendigo and then make the Thorn retreat, it looks like. It's not a very feasible task, if I'm being honest, but this is a very good turn for us. We just get a dodge in. Burst. Shield. Pass. Yeah, the stun doesn't, doesn't matter. Whatever. Here you go. Get stunned, idiot. I 
I'll settle for this. That's fine. I'll settle for this. Okay, not the end of the world. We get this done. Why can we not stun you? Oh, because you still have more health than us. Okay, hold on. There we go. That's pretty good. You do like this. Pilgrim loses like one HP, but that's not that big of a deal. And we should be okay here. You son of a bitch. One thing we have to look for is probably the weakened wand on Thorn here. We can chip in a little bit of damage that way as well. Okay, so... I can do technically, we can do this into Strand here, which is nice. Oh, we're not possessed anymore. Okay, we can do this now, and then that gets the retreat. Yeah, okay, there we go. Very cool, okay. Forgot that once we kill the Wendigo, our soldier can actually start attacking like normal. Ooh, Hourglass is a very good roll. I think I like it on Glacia the most here. It's good on Fate as well, but Fate already has their item spoken for. And it, it, it's, it's fine on Glacia too, don't get me wrong. Pretty good no matter where it goes, though. Let's be real, right? Okay, and, and uh, I think Dabble is dying, by the way. I'm sorry to say. I don't think Dabble lives this one. So, tragic, but it is what it is. I'll take this. I'll take... Uh, uh, I'll take this and roll the rest. Oh, I'm stupid. I, I death defy. I'm actually an idiot. Oh, I'm so... Okay, you know what? You saw nothing. You saw fucking nothing, okay? Oh well. Does this kill? It does kill. Anywho. Yeah, that was dumb of me. Listen, we all make mistakes, okay? We all sometimes just kind of forget what's happening. And we do something a little wrong, and that's okay. And we should maybe not judge people too harshly for us sometimes. Right? Right. Uh, let's put this here. Otherwise, we're doing fine. Otherwise, we're doing A-OK -okay here. I am not too stressed out about this combat. Yoink. He should run away. There we go. Okay. There's a teensy little miss, but that definitely won't cost us at all here. Uh, You know, I'm down for a curator. I'm not taking Prince. Absolutely fuck that shit. Uh, ain't no way that's gonna happen today. I'll take I'll take the the overdog charge side. We have we have good mana generation, especially with fate as our tier three red. So I'm very happy to have curator on this team. Uh, still no real good ballast song line. So we'll just go next. Take the blade. Weaken here looks pretty good. Looking for a death defy. You know what? There we go. It's actually here this time. I won't fuck up anymore. We're going to play this shit correctly now. You know what I think I should actually do? I think I want to do this. I think I want to rampage. Then we can get like a full on week in here. That seems pretty good. Uh... Let's put this here. Dabbler is poisoned. So they are probably dying. I'll take this. Engage kills a snake, which is pretty sweet. Looking for like a heal shield. This is all pretty good stuff. Okay. So we're going to do this into like this here. We get this strand on Dabbler to keep them alive, which is cool too. Kill the snake. A little bit of extra mana here. Probably should just kill more snakes. I think that makes the most sense. I do have this shield I can use here. There you go. There you go. Dabbler's still at 1 HP. You need to keep them alive still by, by some way, shape, or... or uh, you know what? That keeps them alive. Cool. Okay. You know, I think I just lock all these. Actually, this is a pretty good, a pretty good turn just to lock in here. All we need is two mana to get another strand to keep Dabbler alive. I'm a little greedy here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go again. There we go. A very good turn for us, honestly. Get to do this. Get to put this here instead. Get a little bit of extra damage out of it. 
Oh, we just have extreme lead pool. Okay. Cool. So, you know what? Mistake recovered. Okay. We don't have to be angry at me anymore. No booing. Not that anyone really was or anything, I'm sure. But still. We can all rest easy now. Uh, we have nothing to... I mean, I guess I put this here. We have nothing to shuriken off with these, unfortunately. Um, and no really good ink bottle characters either. Maybe we can find some. We'll see. I'll just settle. I'll just settle here. We don't have to go too crazy on this one. Uh... I don't hate shilling on slate here, I think. But it is like technically a little bit of wasted damage, so I'll put it on alpha. That's fine. Either way, it's okay. Although, actually, you know what? Oh, man. Glacia, Glacia actually needs the health more because of Chomp. Being a, being a top slash bottom character here is pretty important to maintain their health. I think we'll be okay, though. Start working the chomp down here. We do need to get like a heal side on fate this next turn. Ooh, that's a lot of damage coming in. Okay. Um, shield bash is not that bad looking here, honestly. But the problem is we just kind of need to again keep keep Glacia alive here. So it doesn't do much for us. We can strand here. We can. First, you do technically live right now, Glacier. I think. Although, no. Oh, fuck the the slight damage though coming in afterwards. Shit. Never mind. Yeah, we need to we need to roll more defensive then. I'll keep this. I will keep this. I suppose. And we need either, we need to either either need a stun or the heal shield off of uh pill or off of fate here combined with maybe the repeat side. No, that is not that good this turn. Okay, this is something though. This might be. This might get us through the, the turn. It, it, everyone lives, which is nice. Hold on. That's fine. That that works. That, that works very well for me, actually. Okay, there we go. <coughs> that was gonna be sickly here, but you know what? I think we'll manage. Cool, okay. Very good stuff. We have no real support for it, but Wizard is is not terrible here. And we have the Hourglass, so turn one Wizard's pretty good. Dabbles is one of the better oranges we could find, though, too. It's a tough one here. The tough one. My gut is telling me to go with Dabbles here. I think Dabbles is not the strongest tier three orange. Oh, you know what? I, no, I'm going to go Wizard. I've changed my mind again. Although, oh man, it's actually a really tough choice. Because Wizard, very item-reliant character, and we have very little selection over the items we pick because we took uh, Rush before, right? We're getting random items every level. But we already have a pretty good one in Hourglass, right? Hourglass, Wizard is fine. Um, And really, we just want mana generation for the Curator more than anything. So Wizard does okay at mana generation. Not incredible, but just pretty decent. Well, especially especially once they wand themselves. But I think I think I'll just go dabble is still. We can do better. We can do better on the blue front for mana generation, I'm pretty sure here. And we can't do much better than mana generation on the orange front, right? So I think that's the that is the reason why we are doing it this way. Well, I do want that three mana side. I'm just lock it this way. Try again. Very good turn. Mm. I think we hit and then repeat the hit here. Spider Soul shit. Hold on. We definitely chill then. Um. First on Troll King. Pass the turn here. Looking pretty decent. Oh, that's that's pretty scary though. This looks pretty good though. I think we should be fine here. this like here because now one two three four 
five. I have, you know what? This should be on fate, maybe. That's really tempting. Okay. We'll consider that later for sure, because that's that's a lot of potential max HP for fate. So I'm pretty sure the spell does contribute towards the character saving. I think. I could be wrong about that, though, actually. I'm not a positive. But I believe it is how that works. Um. Anywho. Troll King, I don't think is going to beat us. I do like this turn quite a bit here. Big shields. Just burst you. Okay. Seven or nine. Okay. Wooden bracelet would not have been very good against... Uh, or what's it called? Would not have been very good with our... Uh, I forget the name of it now. Uh, fuck. Character we skipped before. Wizard. So, yeah. This is fine. How do I get... So, do we... Do... I, I kind of don't hate this. I think the heal five is one of our worst sides here. And then we put this on fate. It looks pretty good to me overall. Okay, let's run it. Just don't let Dabolus die. Simple. Easy. I'll put this on you, probably. We can do a little bit of rolling here, actually. I think I'll keep the engage side. I'll keep the four damage, and we can do better on these. We can do better on these. It is the same, basically. Okay. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for sure here. Oh, I forgot about that, too. Fuck. Okay. Um... Someone's gonna die. Sorry to say we can't we can't save everyone here. I think the answer is going to be to let Pilgrim go. If someone's targeting Glacier, which is very likely, it's gonna be very annoying, but eh, whatever. The shame that we rolled the shield side over and over again there. You know, we wanted the 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 uh the non-shielded side here. So tragic, but whatever. Try again. I don't... The game hates me today, I guess. I don't know what's going on here. Very annoying, though. Put this here. Strand up here. We're, we're doing okay for the most part. We're going to survive this combat. It's, it's just a tedious one, is all. Ooh, the charge side. This all looks pretty. This all is winning. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, there we go. Pilgrim, Pilgrim being injured there is actually really bad for us because we're dependent on him having more HP. Uh, for the same reason, I don't want to take Wizard, I don't want to take Sorcerer here. Uh, does not combo with these items at, at all, basically. Keeper, pretty good. Tier 3 Gray. Happy to have him on the team. I think we do this here now as well. And then, unfortunately, Ink Bottle. I guess, oh, you know what? Bit of a misplay. Didn't realize that this was an option for us. No reason to not have it here. And uh, we'll go next. Bay is in danger. Well, let's be honest, not really. The stun here already saves fate, which is cool. And I think I just rolled the rest here. The, 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 what's the call side was, oh, this is actually great. The curator side sucks. That's not good. But, uh, this killing the zombies is very, oh, fuck, we can't kill anyone turn one. I keep forgetting this. I'm stupid. Whatever. Well, hold on. Strand first. We win this still. This is fine. This is a good opening turn. Spider Soul is not too bad. It is a little tricky, though, I must say. It's a bit of a stinker on occasion. Ooh, the, I just realized. Steel Chain combo. Holy shit. This is extremely overkill. Put this here. Oh, we, we can get some strands here first. I'm not realizing. Okay. Was Curator dying? No, okay. Just want, just want to make sure. 
Hold on. There we go. A little bit of extra value to squeeze out there. Fate potentially going to be in danger. Never mind. We should roll this again. We don't have the min max here. This should be, yeah, this is very much lethal. Good, good, good. Okay. Eight or 10. Yo, antlers is back. Oh, baby. Where does this go right now? Um. So we have, oh, it's gotta go on fate, right? Oh my God, it's gotta go on fate. Holy shit, look at that. Look at that. What a disgusting character now. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, one of the best items in the game. It's only a three-point blessing to see it, by the way, too, which is just insane to me still. Not terrible. It shouldn't be, should be mentioned. Not terrible here as well. Right? Getting getting these bonuses is pretty cool, but look at those. Look at those. Five mana heal shield sides. That's insane. This is definitely the path. But uh, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Okay. Um... Thank you for the antlers, very cool. I will take the repel here, it looks pretty good this turn. Let me just take all of this actually. Uh, chip away at the caw here a little bit, I think is fine. Uh, is it worth, is it worth chilling uh, the Banshee here to keep weak Keeper a little bit less weak? And I think that's, I think that's worth it as well, honestly. Take a little bit of damage from the casting the spell. We get to cast one more spell anyway. Okay. And fate. Oh, fate's pained here too, which sucks. Yuck. Gross. Icky. I'll take this for sure. I'll take. I think this for sure. Roll the rest. Try again. Hmm. Tragic. Hmm. We're losing some people today, it looks like. We did not get enough mana to actually start foretelling. This is a rough position to be in. Okay, hold on. Let's let's think here. Yeah, this is bad no matter how you slice it. We might lose here. Yeah, the Fate triple Xing definitely is going to cost us, I think, the whole game, which sucks. Everyone else rolled pretty well for the most part. Um, we can do this. I, I don't see a line better than this, but this feels incredibly losing to me. I don't know how Fate and Keeper can win this with just the two of them. Guess I can put the shield maybe on Curator here. Uh, yeah. This seems more doable, the very least. This seems like potentially we could win from this from this spot still. So obviously not great, but I just do not see a better line from here. Okay, we are getting our shit absolutely stomped in. We can do like this into Rampage, Rampage. And then we just lose still, because they keep hitting me with AoE attacks. That doesn't work. Can I keep this still? Because I think Keeper is, is, is long gone here. And beyond that, I don't know what I'm looking for. Yeah, just nothing. Just nothing. It's over. That sucks, dude. Ah, man. Sometimes this game crushes your soul. I felt like we were so strong. We went into this with like a full full HP team. No issues whatsoever. We got like the best fucking item in the game. We put it on one of the best characters to hold that item. And the character just triple X'd me. And we lost the entire game because of it. Man, that sucks. Even if we would really roll a pain side, we could still like put like a shield on it probably and get out of that, that position. Like, I don't know. It is what it is. Take me. 
Yeah. Anyway, not a, not a bad run. Oh man, we we would we would have crushed whoever our final boss was there too. That just that's just sad. Fate, you're so good. I don't get what I don't get. It. I don't get it. Fate, what the fuck? You're such a strong character. I don't understand why you chose that round to be like, yes, now is the time for me to roll three X's in a row and then my entire team can't make enough mana to cast Strand and then we just, we, we get crushed. I'm sure there's maybe some monster rights in play there too. I know the uh, the demon summoning imps there was definitely a problem. Uh, but I don't, I don't know, man. Just, just sad. Anyway, I will see you next time. Uh, goodbye.